Now, Kennesaw State is on high alert after a student was attacked and raped, and the suspect's still on the run this morning. It's the third reported attack since May. And another major concern here is when students actually learned about this attack. Caitlin Ross is live near the campus this morning. Uh, Caitlin, how long did it take for the university to send out an emergency alert after they found out about this attack? More than 24 hours, Vinny. Students tell us they didn't get this email alert until a day after this assault happened. Campus police are being pretty tight-lipped about exactly what went on inside these campus apartments, but they say that four men attacked a woman inside her student housing for more than two hours. Police are calling this a sustained sexual assault, but they're not giving a little details about exactly what happened or who they're looking for. Students on campus tell us they're really on high alert because they don't know who to look out for. They don't know exactly what happened and they weren't given enough warning when it happened. Now this email calls itself a timely warning notification. Students on campus say that more than 24 hours after an assault is not timely and they should have gotten more warning, like a text message, that this happened, Vinny. All right, Caitlin, uh, very little has been released about the attack itself. Have police said anything about the suspects? Really nothing at all, Vinny. All we know is that it was four men who attacked this woman and that one of them may be a KSU student. So that's not a lot to go on, especially if you're a woman on this campus concerned about your safety. All right, Caitlin Ross reporting near Kennesaw State University this morning. Thanks so much, Caitlin.